Hi everyone, it's Mike and Sam from Hi. Player One Ready doing a FIFA 20 Ultimate Team review. Indeed. Again. Yeah. So this one is between two uh, La Liga strikers. So we've got uh, Luka Jovic. My man, Luka. Uh, yeah, yeah. Signed yeah. from uh, from uh, Eintracht. Eintracht Frankfurt. 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 Yeah. And Dan, that's the team that was played in. And it's a very similar team for uh, Jose Morales, who is the uh, Levante striker. So that is the team. The only difference in, in the two teams, obviously, being the strikers that we're reviewing. And the lone Vasunia Junior that I had is now has run out. So uh, good as from um, Valencia, Valencia is out on the yeah. left hand side. So very similar, well, similar price roughly is about a thousand is coins, a thousand in, two two thousand yeah. coins in it. So Jovic at the time was about five k, Ralas was about seven point seven. So we're yeah. about five point seven, seven point seven. So about so two k swing. There wasn't that much difference. No, at not all. a huge no. amount. Um, so. Yeah, Jovic has got 84 positioning, 86 finishing, 83 shot power. That's really about it for him. His dribbling's okay as well, um, being 81 with 84 ball control. Going into Morales, he's a lot quicker with 89 um, pace on his card, 8 he's acceleration, got some serious 90 pace. sprints, he's really yeah. quick. 84 positioning so, and 83 finishing, so he's not quite as good in terms of finishing, supposedly, in positional sense. As as Luka Jovic, but um, also got 82 might. stamina and four star weak foot, four star skill. Whereas Jovic only has, well, he's got five star weak foot, but only three star skills. skills. Yeah. Um, so going into Luka Jovic's first game, I know it says seven games played there, but one of them was literally like I loaded into the game, or it came up with the opponent squad, and then the game crashed. So six, yeah. so six goals, uh, six games played, ten goals there. So he's medium, medium work rate. I bought him for four and a half k. Sorry, so it's about three k swing. Even, it? Yeah. Okay, but so it might come down to personal preference. Oh well, yeah, the day. if you got yeah. yeah. So this is like a budget strikers under 10k for La Liga, say. And these are the two I think you'd be looking at. There are a few others as well. Rodrigo's probably just over that mark, I yeah. think. Yeah. So um, going into his finishing, um, going into you know the goals I scored with him, they just bulldo bullied someone off the ball. I think that's probably a foul, really. Got a bit lucky, but again, right place, nice. right time. Yeah. It's what you need from your striker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Again, carrying on his sort of play style from last year yeah this really yeah. yeah the way you play with the striker is just um don't he's not quick so don't try putting constant through balls to uh to him just rely on his, his positioning being right a bit like Quagliarella yeah. in the last review yeah. and and the other guy um yeah. andres, andres yeah. milik just sort of focus on if you focus on just like not doing too much with them just just the finishing aspect and i think you'll score goals and you can trust that these that the jovic will be in the right place that's, to that's, finish chances that's what we noticed with him last year is that more often than not, if he's in the right place like that, yeah, that is a heck of a good finish. He's and really not many cheap strikers could pull that off. No, but if he's in the right place, yeah, then he's. I mean, for his price, he's brilliant. Yeah, very just consistent like, as well. Just like last year. Yeah, good with either yeah. foot as well. Um, so which is the, which is another big positive. Another big positive. Yeah, especially if you're working different sort of shots, you know, you might have a chance with either foot. Yeah, not a lot of cheap strikers are like that. No, so so, I say cheap. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the, these are these aren't going to be for your like your your starters like four hundred coin strikers if you, if you don't play a lot of old team, but you know around sort of your mid range teams yeah. for a four k four and a half k up to say a, a, the sort of low pushing towards ten k. Yeah. Then these yeah. are the sort of strikers you'll be looking for. Really good finish there as well. Decent um, decent curve right into the top corner. And you still get a decent return as well. Yeah, the, it's an investment definitely. The thing with Jovic though is that you kind of have to play two in. Yeah, you but can't. again, which is like last year. Yeah, is that you've got to sort of build for him rather than build. You can't build not with him. I, yeah, build with him. Yeah, it's a different. It's a difficult one. With He's Jovic. not a striker you can just slot in. You've got to think, okay, who will work well with him? Yeah. Who will set up for him? Like you had Isco. I had Isco, then Navas had, and, Navas and, and Good as so, either either side. Yeah. So getting getting sort of create, getting chances with them or sort of creating chances with them. You can't play through Luka Jovic. Yeah. You have to play two, Luka. That's the way of putting it. Which is like how he plays in real life. Well, yeah. So also quite good in the air. Can I just quickly add? He's yeah. Sort of two headers there. The fairly basic headers. Anyway, going into this guy, uh, six games played, fifteen goals, six goals more than uh, than Jovic. Um, which much quicker. Much, much quicker. Much quicker. Much quicker, and you can play yeah. through him because he's got good dribbling yeah. and he's got okay passing as well. So you can you can you can play through him. Four star week for there. High attacking work rate helps as well. Whereas Jovic is only medium. Um, which I thought he'd be high high to be honest with you, which is work great. But there we go, that's a different story altogether. Um, this guy combines pace with, as you said, work rate. Yeah. Which some of the moves and some of the goals you scored really, really exempt. Like some of this, some of the turns. Yeah, he's an ad- Some of the turn away yeah. from the defender when through balls are played. Yeah. We'll think, see that in a minute. Yeah, um, the, the sort of way that you can just sort of dummy stuff with him. And he has got a 
crazy really, amount like, of that pace. is just I mean the guy the, the defender I'm playing against there should have come across with Diallo I think think he expected me to pass yeah. back to Jesus Navas uh, or Jesus Navas should I say but <coughs> really it's not got as good a shooting as or finishing as Jovic he's through, got three less but I find him a bit because of his pace and so a bit like a pace merchant he was a little bit easier the, to just chuck a ball up and he'll probably get yeah. there um, in a way I when, I when I first knew that it was going to be these guys I thought Jovic would win all hands up but I was pleasantly surprised with how yeah. um, versatile Morales is. Yeah. You can play like Yuki, you, Luka Jovic with him. Yeah, you can. But because he's quick, he's got that extra he's dimension. He's got that extra yeah. dimension to him. He's he's quite for the price you're paying. Yeah. And if you think not many people are going to think, oh, Levante strike. Yeah. It's just he's, he's just they're not going to look at it. No, not a lot of people that. will look at. That's not a detriment to people who play it. They're not going to look at the stats. That deeply. I mean, where is that? This is the sort of thing you need to look for. Yeah. He's quick. He's, he's clinical as hell. Yes, as well. He's really. Yeah, clinical. he was. Yeah, he was really yeah. good. Really good finisher. I don't think eighty-three ball finishing was actually fair because he didn't really miss many chances that In I'd that be like. That kind of pace there. Yeah. What sort of striker for that money is going to do that? I know there is. Yeah, you've got people I like Malen yeah. and uh, who, and for PSV, his on form is is incredible, and I do have it on my bench. And but, I mean, it's it's early days. Yeah, there are many days, players. Many people are going to be lots of pace and good finishing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, this was a this is a this is a big plus. I, it, positioning wise, there was decent. Just peeling off the it's man. Cracking finish. Really good finish yeah. and decent shot power as well. So I think out the two, I think he was he, he he for me ended up. This is a dodgy finish. And I feel a bit guilty about putting this one in because that should never be going in. But goal I, is a goal. A goal is a goal. Yeah. But, and I felt a bit easier to create chances with Luki Jovic in this formation anyway. Yeah. Um, on. Because I've got Isco feeding balls to him, and, and the way that you would have to change up playing with Jovic, Jovic is better physically. He's he's taller, he's stronger, he's better in the air, and you that's can, what you, and you could do it that way. And if you wanted that, the Morales is not that. But if you no. want someone, if you want someone who just wanted to get in behind, that's what I was doing with Isco, just getting in behind, playing balls, I mean, and, and sort of getting getting out well alternatively as well. Alternatively, people, I mean, if you're thinking of doing a different formation. Yes. You could in theory play both. I I think I think you it would work as well both. with the I physicality. Think it would probably work because Morales is quick enough to feed off what Jovic can hold up. Yeah, yeah, and, absolutely. And can build from that. Yeah, I think it would but definitely work. But what would you sacrifice to do that? Well, the thing is that this, this this was a fairly cheap side yeah. around it. Navas was about like one and a half k, and Guedes wasn't much, wasn't very expensive. Isco is most expensive player in the team at twelve. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but this guy was just a really, really good card, really fun card. They both were good in their own right, and yeah. you can't slag off either of them because they both scored goals at the end of the day. I mean, Jovic Yo- well, has from last year, yeah. So he knew he was going to be good. Yeah, but I agree. I fully agree with the ratings. Yeah, I Morales, mean, Morales to me is the better. The is thing, the better option. The thing is, Morales is good regardless of price. Yeah, this thing like he is a fight. Like he is a, and if he gets an inform, he'll be. Bloody unplayable. Um, he was a really good striker for me. I really enjoyed using him. I really enjoyed mm. working with him, and he didn't really miss any guilt edge chances that cost me games. Yeah. Same with Jovic. He missed a, missed a few. Probably my fault, really. But I think Jovic is good. Four star. I think it's a solid rating. Yeah. Um, and apologies for Sam's voice in this video, by the way. He is he is a little bit ill. Um, but I, I can't not do the recording. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Jovic four, Morales five, but both good, cheap, cheap-ish mid-range La Liga team strikers. Both are good, but against each other, Morales edges it. Yes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and uh, stick around for more videos. Thank you very much, guys.